Friday. And turns out New Year's resolutions are not just for people. Dr. Chris McReynolds from Southern Colorado Veterinary Internal Medicine joins me now. So Hello. we all want to keep our pets healthy. Any new habits we should start in 2015? Well, Happy New Year. <laughs> happy um, New Year. <laughs> absolutely. Um, as you might be aware, um, all of us have resolutions, mm -hmm. and the number one resolution always is to lose oh, weight. Yeah. At least that's for me. And 50% of our dog population are overweight, uh, similar to, to us. Mm -hmm. And what we can do is really help each other lose weight. I mean, you look at her, she's calm right now. This is Chinook, one of my dogs. But talk about, we've committed starting January 1st that we're going to take a walk every day. And oh, you know, she's and she, so happy. And she's a great partner. I mean, mm -hmm. they always say you need an exercise partner. And she's always ready to go. She's never going to press the snooze bar, say she's got a date <laughs> with somebody. So um, they really, you can really, and there's actually a study out that yeah. has showed that you can eat the same amount as other people, you can exercise the same as much as other people, but if you walk your dog, you're going to lose weight and have a lot more fun doing it. Well, my little dog, she kind of slows me down. Mm -hmm. She wants to just walk around the block yeah. and that's it, and she stops every 10 seconds to sniff something. You know what I had heard <laughs> is, I had talked to somebody that had that, a uh -huh. dog was getting older, and they just got a baby carriage, like a baby jogger, oh. put her in there, and just put it in there. I've seen those people, now I know why they're doing mm -hmm. that. Well, and um, of course, keeping mm -hmm. your dog mm -hmm. fit benefits not just your dog, of course, of course us, us too. And, and also, I didn't want to mention, sometimes we always talk about dogs, but a lot of us also have cats. And cats are notorious of being catch potatoes. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of things you can do that are very easy. These are cats, you know, we tend to just pour the bowl of food in maybe once or twice a week and presume they're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Well, cats tend to eat a mouse there, a mouse there, a bird there. Um, these are things you can hide around the house, and they actually have little kibble in them. As oh, you can yeah. see, they're dumping out right now. And these are great things to do where you take the amount of food that you normally would feed the kitty cat and just spread it out throughout the day. And one more thing I was going to show you is this is something I just found out about today. We always, <laughs> we always <Nook> likes that. <laughs> eat, eat too much and so do our dogs. Mm -hmm. You should pay attention to what that uh, bag of dog food says and measure it by a cup. I thought that this, this was in my house today mm -hmm. and I thought this was gonna be a cup. Look at that, it's, oh. it's a, I am feeding you. No wonder you're overweight. <laughs> so, She's like, yeah, so when I I'm back, so when I'm back here in February, you must ask me how my resolutions will, are going. I will. I definitely okay. will. All well, right. thank you so much. That's really great right, advice. Good. So hopefully our dogs get a little healthier this year.